So this component is the breaker board bracket. It's very similar to the picture frame bracket, but it's got a slightly different dimension. So just be aware of that. There's 10 of these in the box and it comes standard with our 16 mm um, H16 screws, which is a hex screw, it's 3 8 driver, and there's 50 of those in the box. So there's 10 brackets, so you've got basically 40 spare screws. Now, this is how it works. You've got your boundary plate, and then you've got your two double channel profiles, your joists. Now they were going to be supporting, essentially, your, your breaker board, in this scenario and then you're going to have your other decking boards coming on either side so one there and then one over here so how this is configured is that you have this bracket now notice it has one arm that's longer than the other one you can see that it has a hole there so that if you want to slide it into the channel and you want to screw that off at that exact point like this. This arm is shorter than this one so you can actually get your drill down and screw down into there. I'm going to rotate that round. I'm going to slide that into the second channel. Second joist. And now you can see this is where your boundary plate comes on. And then you use your driver extension to screw that off into this joist. So that bracket, I'll just do this again to show you how fast it is. You literally take it, slide it in, slide it into here, take your boundary joist, screw it off into there, and that has now created that structure. You will then get your 90 degree bracket and slide that into here on either side, like so, screw those off onto there and that'll create a very, very strong connection. Now the next thing to do is to grab the decking board the design of this means that when the twist clip is in the channel, so you take your twist clip and you rotate it around, you'll see that the twist clip um, goes over the edge of this um, line here of the profile. If you actually notice, you can push your decking board into there and that twist clip will hold down that decking board. Likewise, I'm going to do it on the other side. I'm going to take my clip, twist that around, and now you can see that board's locked in place. Now the great thing about these twist clips and this configuration is you can see that that board pushed nicely into this clip, like so. It's really nice and snug. And I'm probably gonna have a bit of trouble doing this with my hands because you might need a screwdriver. Might use a bracket to twist it around. Right around. There you go. That board is nice and snug in there. So you've got your breaker board and then your normal decking boards. So you'd have your other decking board here. You'd have a decking board here, decking board here, and decking board here. And that's how you construct your perfect breaker board. Now what you do need to do is you need to go to the one end of your breaker board, typically up by the house or the dwelling, and you will need to screw it off just so that this decking board doesn't want to caterpillar along with expansion and contraction.